Hello, it's Sarah. Look what I made. Another fairy door. Uh, this is actually, let me see, it's 10 inches tall. Um, this is for my front yard. I have just a little area in our front bed right by the sidewalk that has like, a, we have a fountain and I've had her forever, a little fairy that sits on a mushroom, but she's not one of the tiny fairies. She's about like six inches tall. So, um, and I have a little like frog house or something, but that's about it. But I, it's near a stump and I thought I'm going to prop a door up against that stump. And, um, this is it. So I just did this today. This is actually on a piece of mirror that was in my basement. I used to do um, glass mosaics, so I had a lot of scrap, and when I was thinking about what to use, I first thought of wood. I was gonna use wood, but then I was like, yeah, but that could get warped and everything, and so um, came to glass, and then I was like, hmm, do I have something that big? So I went in the basement, and I cut this, and I kinda botched the top a little. At first it was pointed. I was like, yeah, I don't wanna do that, and then, so I just started crunching the edges and I, I kind of like the way it came out crunched like that. And it's not exact, but I like that there's a little extra reflectivity up there. Um, and then I just started building my door. So I love the door though. It did turn out, I actually did the blending technique with, I think I used a dark brown, a light brown and some gold and who knows what else other scraps were in there. And I just started twisting and twisting and rolling and I got it. I got it on there. I cut that out first, trimmed it out with some white clay and put some lines in it to show wood lines um, and put my crossbars. It's my basic fairy door. And I did my whatever kind of cobblestone around the door look, which I've been doing on all my fairy doors too. So real simple actually, not, not a lot to it. Um, I did do the vine, just the one vine with some curly cues, and these are the flowers from this mold, which is the, this is the fondant mold, and I've had this for a long time, and I'm glad I'm using it again, um, but I just cut my, actually the big leaves are a cookie cutter, but I just cut the other ones freehand, they're just as easy. Um, so I used one big one, one medium, and the rest are just little flowers and a purple, um, butterfly. This is the big butterfly in this butterfly mold by Martha Stewart. And um, I just kept it simple. I love it. So, um, oh, this little door handle. This is what I got at Hobby Lobby. And I knew I should have gotten a couple because I would find something to use these for because, of course, it's it was the perfect size for this size door. Um, and I love how that turned out. Um, changed my hinges up a little bit and of course I you see this lovely window I was looking through my um, cookie cutters and I was like hmm and the, like a little round one been there done that whatever whatever and I went with the moon and I love it moon and a star and the mirror shines through so that'll add just a little reflectivity out there and I put a, my little fern over here just to even it out, and that's it. Oh, but then after I baked it, I antiqued it too, and I this time I used dark burnt umber, and I watered it down, so I didn't just do heavy, heavy antiquing. You can still see it. It's in the nooks and crannies of the rocks. It's on the door. It's not as, I think I would have liked it a little bit more, but... I really I'm I'm happy with it. Um, it's definitely in the um, leaves. It stayed in the leaves and stuff. Um, and I noticed while that was drying because it was wetter that these were starting to come up. I was like, oh man! So I ended up pulling up the whole piece of clay after it was baked. After it was baked, um, and I used E6000 to glue. I just put it on the back of the. Um, clay and glued it back on so now it's not going anywhere this thing is good to go so I'm very happy about that actually that was like a happy accident because it would have ended up peeling off the sides are very sharp I have to be careful but i um, just going to lean it up against a tree stump and it's kind of out of the way it's not near 
um, where anyone could get hurt, but I love it. I think it turned out very magical and pretty, and so I'm, I'm enjoying this so much. I mean, I'm starting to really get the hang of it, and I have, I still have my votives, and I may not just do all fairy houses with that, but I also pulled these out today. These are some houses that my husband had cut for me um, a while back. And so if you go back in my videos, I think they were called wonky houses um, by Joggles. She was doing wonky houses or something, and I loved them. And I did them according to her tutorial. I have like four other ones, but these, I think, at least one or two are going to get covered with clay. And we'll see how that goes. I'm going to do them... Um, Probably, I mean, who knows? They may be fairy houses or they just may be cottages. You know, they don't have to be fairy houses. Cottages, but I mean, I might add all types of things to these. I could add jewelry or wings or, you know, who knows? But definitely clay will be involved. Um, so I just wanted to come tell you that real quick. I have a bunch of other videos. Oh, I made these stepping stones too, which I'm actually not thinking I'm going to use necessarily because they, they're just going to get lost in the mulch, I think. that This garden is too big. These would be good for a smaller um, potted fairy garden. I actually made two other ones. These are actually really big too. So this is my original fairy house that I'm going to put in a potted garden, right? And I I thought these stepping stones would be good, but they're too big for it. I mean, they're huge. These are like patios. <laughs> it's like a patio. I mean, maybe it would be good. I could put it right in front. But then I made these smaller ones, and then I thought these are even still a little too big. Because, I mean, this is the size of my fairy, you know? Who knows? I'm not sure. I think they're too big. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably... Um, Cut. And you know what? I didn't need to use my granite clay either because I don't have very much of it left. After I colored them, you can't really tell it's granite clay. So, um, but for the big fairy door, I think they're appropriate. But like I said, I think they're going to get lost in the mulch outside. They're kind of small. Um... So anyway, I'm, I'm still working on some of my fairy door stuff. Like, I need to um, make some accessories. I want to make, for this one, for these little girls, I need to make some um, other accessories. I want to make a bird house, maybe a bird bath, um, stuff like that. Because they both have, well, she has a bird. I don't know what she has. <laughs> All right, you guys, I just wanted to share that. Thanks for watching.